or Thunder update air superiority and to do some boring aircraft like the Su-15 and F-27 or something. But hidden deep in the patch notes is a plane that went unnoticed, the plane that the Italian Air 3 desperately needed, and a rank 7 plane that's not a f***ing F-104, my god. The main thing to note about the AMX is that it's a subsonic attacker. If you really push it, you will hit a wall at just over Mach 0.9. Meaning that everyone that isn't another subsonic attacker can just run away from you. Maneuverability wise, at around Mach 0.8, the plane is decently nimble and doesn't suffer from much control surface compression. But the plane feels like an absolute brick at low speed, and you will quickly lose airspeed in maneuvers, leaving you dead in the water in any sort of prolonged turn fight. Something very important to know is control surface compression at your max speed. You will suffer from some elevator compression, but it's not too bad and you can still turn decently well. But be careful, as the moment you dip below Mach 0.8, your control surfaces will suddenly free up and allow you to pull upwards of 17 Gs, followed promptly by wing adios. It might catch you off guard at times, but just keep that in mind and you should be fine. You get a pair of tip mounted M9Ls, which are kinda busted for 10-3, especially if you get a down tier and an internal 20mm Vulcan which is decent, but the amount of ammo is really low for a Vulcan, at only 400 rounds. The radar warning receiver is fully digital, with friendly and target type identification, and missile launch warning. And for countermeasures, you have access to 120 flares which deploy in pairs, which is plenty enough and you will almost never run out of them. Using it in air battles, the AMX is not a dogfighter. You have to try to keep your speed up as much as you can. Picking off distracted targets is your best bet. In a down tier, you're basically the best plane around, fighting a vast majority of flareless aircraft which stand no chance against your M9Ls. But where this aircraft really shines is in mixed battles. You can carry up to 6 laser guided bombs, which makes it an absolute menace. You have 3 types of them. The first one is the GBU-12. It's only a 500 pound bomb, so you're unlikely to get multiple targets with one drop. But it's the only one where you can mount 2 on a single pylon, allowing you to carry up to 4 on the inner pylons, plus 2 on the outer ones. Next in the guided bomb trio is the GBU-16, which is just a 1000 pound version of the GBU-12. You can only carry one per pylon. It's best used in conjunction with the four inner GBU-12s. And finally, the GBU-24, a massive 2000 pound bomb. You can easily get multiple kills on enemies close to each other. It also has inertial navigation, which means it will continue to the last laser point if you drop lock for any reason. You can only carry it on the inner pylons. Of course, guided bombs aren't magical. They still require a relatively accurate drop, but fortunately you do get a bomb ballistics computer, so it's not a big issue from any range. Your guided bombs are made even more effective by the targeting pod you have. It has impressively good zoom and good enough thermals, as well as an auto tracker. You also have a cannon leading indicator. The reason I'm mentioning this now is because you need to use the targeting pod to use it. A radar rangefinder lock doesn't enable it. It's not really a big deal as it's like, kind of shit. I've missed more shots using it than just guessing the lead myself. As I mentioned earlier, you have 120 flares, which makes it very difficult for IR SAMs to get a lock on you. Just enable periodic flares and you're basically immune to them. You also get the boring conventional weapons. You have 500, 1000 and 2000 pound bombs, which you should never use, as Gaijin in their infinite wisdom thinks that a couple of 1000 pound bombs are more effective than laser guided bombs. You have to get up close and personal with them to have any sort of accurate drop which is when you will get blasted out of the sky by a guepard. The only place they're useful is base bombing in IRRB, but if I see any few motherfuckers bombing in the AMX, I'm personally coming to your home and stealing your graphics card. You also have some of the most useless rockets I've ever used on a plane before. They have nearly no penetration and can barely overpressure open top vehicles. Unless you're missing your frontal lobe, using this plane in mixed battles is as easy as 1, 2, 3. No, really. Step 1. Locate a victim and lock them. Step 2. Drop a bomb in their general proximity. Step 3. Step 4. Profit. But for some real gameplay advice, the moment you spawn in, you should start climbing. 4 to 5 kilometers should be enough. Look at the enemy spawn and see if they have any SPA, especially Strailers, as those are the greatest threat to your point and click adventure. Dealing with SPA isn't very difficult if you have some altitude and airspeed. You should be able to toss your bomb from about 6 kilometers, turn around and wait for it to impact. By that point you'll be well outside their effective range, just make sure you stay within the targeting pod's gimbal limits. Other dangerous SPAs are the Tunguska and Rolands, but those will give you a launch warning in your radar warning receiver, and they should be identified by it even before launch. In conclusion, the AMX is an absolutely fantastic close air support aircraft, capable of leveling entire teams on its own. It wraps up the Italian 10-3 lineup really well and is finally a cast aircraft that Italy can count on.